The impact of the infrastructure deal means billions of dollars in funding for the tri-state area. But despite the boost, MTA officials say they're going ahead with congestion pricing and that there are plenty of New Yorkers, though, who want to put the brakes on the idea. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer is here now with the story. Marsha? Well, Dana, to many commuters, it's just plain fuzzy math. They want to know why the MTA needs to go ahead with congestion pricing when the money the agency has received from the feds in pandemic Pandemic relief and infrastructure funds is like manna from heaven, nearly $25 billion that fell out of the sky and into their laps. Well, I don't think they should do that because um, this year they get a lot of money. And last year they didn't have much stuff to worry about. They should have surplus. I don't think so. It's too much money as it is to go into New York City. So if they, you know, charge us just to drive into the city at certain hours, I think that's robbery. They shouldn't allow it to happen. They don't do it. Don't, don't charge any more than you're already charging. It's enough to try and get people back into the city to get them the tourists to come again. Commuters raising questions tonight about the need to enact congestion pricing, charging a hefty fee for anyone driving into Manhattan Central Business District below 60th Street. After all, the MTA just scored big time, getting over $10 billion from the new federal infrastructure bill signed into law by President Biden. And that's on top of the $14.5 billion the agency got in pandemic aid. I put the question to MTA Chief Jano Lieber. Why do they they still have to pay. We need to be a model of climate change, not just for the world, but for ourselves. We need air quality to be good so kids don't get asthma. This is for us as much as it is for money for the MTA. If you've been banding about the possibility of a fair of a congestion pricing fee of between 23 and $35, but why do you have to charge so much? Marsha, the, the, you have to look at the numbers. A very small percentage of people, of New Yorkers, actually drive to work in the Manhattan Central Business district and it's disproportionately people who are better off so we you know we just got to deal with the reality that most New Yorkers are taking mass transit and the money that this will generate will benefit them but local lawmakers say they intend to raise questions about the fees and whether discounts and other dispensations should be on the table I think it's really looking at overall picture let's see how much money we're getting and let's see if we can actually reduce those numbers Perhaps it's a concern because you know I have a constituency that have to go into the city for you know health care reasons and you know you know, I think there's conversation about the you know, discounts. We're pushing to make sure that it's accessible for those who are financially disincentivized. Well, the MTA is still in the process of holding public hearings on congestion pricing and will then do environmental impact studies in the dozens of communities affected by the plan. It's not expected to go into effect until well after next year's gubernatorial election. Dana. It's been a long time we've been talking about this, Marcia. A long time. Thank you.